Hello camera. I don't like you. I'm here for my friends. Those who I hope to work with. They are champions in their own right way. Good at what they do. Good at what they do. Culture of governance is extremely innovative, yet it sits on the parallels where technology and people actually interact in harmony. As much as we feel that technology can cure all our problems, it has its inherent challenges. And as much as we feel that as a human, we can be as consistent as technology, it has its own inherent challenge. So the adaptability and changeability of human and the consistency of the technology, this is where culture of government sits. Its contribution in economics is to ensure it's not fickle like democracy. Fickleness of democracy is important because it's by the people, for the people. It has to be yours on the ground and change as per that or not change as per that. Economics is, especially when we talk about international flow of money, money from one exchange to another exchange and when I talk about exchange, I'm not just talking about the existing exchange because culture of governance is innovative. There is huge gap analysis of innovation which we have. It's integrative. It's integrative because my journey was very integrative. From uh, sociology, economics, banking, to going into economics as if it's like 15 subject in itself, be it transport, be it population, be it monetary policy, be it uh, econometrics, you name it. Then going into fixed income, international trade, equity, capital market, venture capital. than various businesses. The study which I have had due to my life journey, chance to do, is humbling, is extremely humbling. And it's as if a responsibility to give back. We did a pilot of it, it was a success and people who contributed in that. I'm here to say hello to them. More on culture of governance is that we are currently in the phase where we are talking to government of India to ensure that the demarcation of where they keep components of economics in their parlance is less intrusive in the overall running of economy. When we allow for a systematic fickleness to come down. We get a different kind of random movement. And that random movement is actually liberating. Even though it may sound very daunting, it's very liberating. Free market is very dynamic and very wonderful 
beautiful amazing encouraging free market allowing for meritocracy of product meritocracy of service meritocracy of people to come forward empower them so that the misery of human life is less the misery of uh, business cycles being unpredictable for people to lose their livelihood when they are at the point where they are very passionate about something or lose their opportunities when they probably could have because of a decent balanced economic system created a bit better family system for themselves so we not only have foregone a lot of our family and culture and uh, personal life choices because of the business cycles because of the fickleness of systems coming into it and because of humbly nobody else studying it from all angles trade is important pillar in itself currency and its movement is important pillar in itself debt equity and capital market is important pillar in itself how systems interact with these pillars is a very important periphery and amongst all of it making a good judgment call was a journey i didn't know how but somebody who advised prime minister at that time taught me monetary policy i don't know how it happened i don't know how entire north america head of fixed income gave me nuggets i don't know how best trader gave me nuggets i don't know how last year on my birthday amazing guy gifted me with amazing piece it was in the newspaper but it was gift so beauty of culture of governance is that it inherently allows for a lot of cultural variables without so far it has not been done a lot of cultural variables without obstructing the economy so far cultures have been difficult interact inter interaction with the con beauty of culture of governance is that it allows for decent balance between saying democracy can do its job without having to get disrupted by economy i'm sure somewhere in the world if elections are happening that impacts the economy or somewhere if the economy is bad that it impacts the elections i would be amazed if there was one political figure in their right mind who said that no no we don't want a consistent economy and when i say consistent i'm not talking about flat consistent i'm talking about economy which moves but doesn't move so low or doesn't go so skyrocketing that we create casualties of uh, phenomenal sizes 
as long as we remain in the parallels where if there is a casualty it can be shock absorbed we are fine end of the day we want free market end of the day we want capitalism but in its beautiful form in its humane form in its loved and loving form it's possible i run these simulations all day long and i work with these simulations every single day in fact some of my simulations are very very fast and it's 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 good initiative Finally, I have an answer for why I traveled back and forth across various places, meeting such amazing people with remarkable talents to offer. I finally have an answer because they put tiny, tiny drops into me and they ignited flames in me, which has created culture of governance it's in very important place we had a successful pilot we had successful pre pilot <laughs> and we are now at the place where we are talking to the government of india and while government of india is one bit educating the industry here is going to be the next bit but one step at a time we don't jump guns we want industry to voice their opinion express it to whoever they feel concerned comfortable with but it's coming it's coming and it's coming in a way in which good players will have a good chance ethical will lead and i'm just one person with this initiative we all are going to see many many more people come forward because it's a system which works with systems and allows for more freeing of us to be available to people we love to be available for causes we love to to be able to say that while life happens every day we still are not regressing backward or grappling with realities certain amount of consistency we we humans have strived for it over the years we have worked towards it and this is the era where our technology has matured it's remarkable what they are doing today our capital markets are institutions have matured india needs to mature its few institution which will happen only after we talk to government and we get government clearance and this is international not just one democracy but any democracy is invited to benefit from it i know few of my team members already few more will join and eventually it will be a industry in itself so let's get excited i'm camera shy but anything for my team